If I told you that time travel isn't just science fiction, would you believe it? Surprisingly, modern physics provides a solid theoretical foundation for it. And the story begins with Einstein's theory of relativity. Before Einstein, Newton's idea of absolute space and time had dominated science for centuries. People believed time flowed like a steady river, the same on Earth or the Moon, never speeding up or slowing down. This matched everyday experience and seemed unquestionably true in a world of low-speed motion. But in 1905, Einstein introduced special relativity and completely overturned this worldview. He revealed that space and time are not separate, but interconnected. And most importantly, time is not absolute. It can stretch or slow depending on how fast you move. This phenomenon is known as time dilation. Imagine a photon bouncing up and down in one second. Now imagine another photon moving at high speed. Its path becomes longer, so it takes more time to complete a single bounce. That extra time is time dilation. Using Einstein's formula, if you travel at half the speed of light, time for you slows by about 1.15 times. 52 seconds on your ship would equal 60 seconds on Earth. At 99% of the speed of light, Time slows by a factor of 7.1. The closer you get to light speed, the more dramatic the effect becomes. Gravity also slows time. Ten years after special relativity, Einstein introduced general relativity, showing that gravity isn't a pulling force but a curvature of space-time caused by mass. The greater the mass, the stronger the curvature, and the slower time runs. Even light takes longer to pass through curved space-time, proving that time itself changes near strong gravitational fields. With control over speed and gravity, traveling into the future becomes theoretically possible. But going backward in time is another story. The flow of time is constrained by the second law of thermodynamics. In an isolated system, entropy can only increase. Like a shattered glass that cannot reassemble, the universe naturally moves toward disorder, defining the arrow of time. Reversing time would require reducing the entropy of the entire universe, something that appears impossible with our current understanding of physics.